Um, and uh, within Expressions Media, I am the music department project manager and uh, stepping in to help chair the meeting today um, because Arthur's, Arthur's mic isn't working. I haven't actually chaired a meeting before, um, so please bear with me. And if I'm speaking too quickly, <laughs> please let me know. Um, so first of all, just so we all know who we're talking to, would if, you're, if your nickname at the moment in here isn't your actual name, feel free to change it to your name. And, uh, and then we'll go through the agenda. Okay, so first up, uh, well, thanks all for coming, firstly. And um, first thing on the agenda here is uh, to talk about the Venus Expressions Media Structure Overview. Please join as many teams and departments you think you'll do best and manage well in. So feel free to, um, to not limit yourselves to one. Feel free to join whichever you would like to. Creative Expression Studio. This is a volunteer-based film and music production team for producing videos, online films, music, music videos, and animations for the Venus Project's educational films. Department in Creative Expression Studio. Team, sorry, uh, the film department, the music department, and then Venus Illustrator. This team will be covering the latest news of the Venus project through Quick Designs, photography, broadcast media, art models, paintings, and digital presentation. Sorry. <laughs> this team will consist of talented actors, graphic designers, publishers, painters, photographers, etc. So a lot of scope there for all different types of uh, artistic skills. And then some other departments, print media, news media, for more information, please read Venus Expressions Media Structure and log into the community login and the teams and the groups area that you wish to join. The news media department, it looks like, well, it's written there that actually the coordinator position is vacant. Uh, is it still the case, Aaron? Half read them. So, yeah, so if anyone is interested in this, um, um, getting involved with the news department, um, Feel free to either speak or later contact us about it. Okay, so we'll move through the agenda then. Um, I was just thinking before we go any further, uh, just to get everybody involved because uh, it seems to, to be quite a big turn up today and I see quite a few people that I don't know personally and uh, maybe it would be a good time to actually speak just uh, if anyone wants to introduce themselves um, just quickly um, so we can actually know each other a little bit more if that's cool with anyone yeah great idea Ben yeah I, I did wonder whether to suggest that and I wasn't sure to because there's so many of us here but yeah that's a great reason to do it isn't it <laughs> okay um, so if we if we briefly say who we are where we're from and um, what we do within Venus Expressions Media. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll start and then we'll go through the top. Uh, so I'm Sheena Bratt and I'm in England. Uh, amongst other things with the Venus Project, I am the uh, Music Department Project Manager. Uh, I've been unsuccessfully trying to help with some voiceovers <laughs> and doing some proofreading, things like that. Okay, Dennis? I don't think uh, Dennis is about, or um, I'm not too sure what Dennis does actually. Uh, I'll speak for Alfred, but some people may wonder why he's not talking. His mic is not actually working. That's why he's uh, writing down um, on the box. And he's actually the coordinator of uh, the Venus Expression Media, uh, and he does a lot of stuff for it, obviously. Um, if you want to, that was just a quick description, sorry. Uh, I'll try to help you with all right. Um, Sean, if you want to say a few words. Sure. I'm just like here checking it out, seeing what's going on with the expressions team. There's a lot of crossover possibly with the writing team. So if anything you guys come up with, 
uh, has to do with writing, just uh, email the writing team or contact us here on TeamSpeak. Uh, writing at thevenusproject.com, I'll write it in here. Otherwise, uh, good turnout and good luck, guys. doesn't seem to be in. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm Ben, Benjamin Cortin. I, I'm coordinator for the, the film department. Um, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. At the moment, I'm just uh, we're trying to sort out some projects with, that we will talk about later on. All right, well, I'm August Blake. Um, I'm just a college student in California, and I'm just listening in to see what you guys are all about. Hi, I'm uh, from the writing team. I like, uh, I just approve of what uh, the Venus Project is. Generally like to talk about it and discuss it with anybody else willing to talk about it. I'm uh, writing a couple things. I got a flow chart trying to dissect what uh, the Venus Project represents, and uh, I got that on Image Shack, but if you uh, want to take a look at it, it's on a uh, X mine in a Dropbox system. Uh, Daniel probably, well, he, he seems to be away, so David? Hey, hi, my name is David, and I'm in the media contact team. George? Okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, looks like the next person isn't here. Uh, grow it. Grow it. Uh, hi, my name is Lena Kovic. Uh, I live in Sweden and I'm new to, to the Venus project, so I have, I ha I have nothing to do so far, but I'm, I'm willing to help as good as I can. Contacts, and I'm the dual coordinator for the communications department. Louis? Ah, he's gone. So, and Nate doesn't have the mic. You could go either, well, I suppose you could just type a quick description. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Nico. Hi, I'm Nico. I'm in the media contact team and in the linguistic team too. Hi, my name is Ragnar. I'm from Estonia and I am not involved in any teams yet. So I'm just listening and checking it out. Hi, my name is Alejandro. I live in Spain. I live in Spain. Um, twenty years old. Uh, I'm a student. Sorry, my English. It was very good. Thank you. VTV. Uh, you shy, maybe? You shy, you sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I was just, uh, I was just, uh, I went to make something to eat. What were what you saying? No problem. Uh, everybody was, everybody was... Sorry, Ben, go on. You go on. We were just briefly introducing ourselves uh, and saying um, what we do within Venus Expressions Media. Ah, okay. <laughs> Would... Would you like to introduce yourself? Well, uh, whomever uh, 
doesn't know me. I'm already in the Venus project uh, for about uh, two years since the early Zeitgeist uh, days. Um, um, you know, what would you like to know? Because there is 100,000 things that I can tell you, but uh, if you be more specific, then I, I won't waste your time. <laughs> Uh, just everybody was saying uh, what, how they were involved, uh, for example, which team they're in, and uh, why they're here, for example, if any reason in particular. Well, I I enjoy do, doing things like uh, audio editing and video editing, and uh, I can you can, can use me in that area. Um, That's fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. It really is an amazing turnout today. There's lots of us in here. Uh, so mm -hmm. thanks very much for your introductions. And uh, sorry, Ben, did you say something? Yeah, I was just going to say uh, Zialus and Seeking, if they can hear us, they should write something down about them. Uh, so, yes, uh, here you go, Christina. Sorry, are, are we. Uh... Oh, are we just continuing with that? Sorry, I didn't quite catch it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we can just carry on. Okay. Yeah, if anyone who hasn't got microphones does want to <clears throat> um, write anything, feel free to do so. Okay, so uh, we're looking at the uh, the second second main point on the agenda then. Um, no props, BTV. <laughs> we were just introducing ourselves. We're just at the beginning. <laughs> Have a go, BTV. W would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I'm a VTV, also known as Neil Kiernan. I'm the host of V Radio. I'm a friend of Jock and Roxanne's, and I work with the, um, I believe it was the media team I signed up for. It's been a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, no problem. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, I'm sorry, Hi. what? Sorry, Sheena. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> Am I breaking up still? I, th no. I think that was fine. I think it was just Ben and I were accidentally um, talking over each other. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll shut up then. No, feel free to continue if there was something else that you wanted to say. That that's fine. Uh, no. Um, well, other than the fact that I will be looking to do a team or basically a, a show at some point, talking about the Venus Project or um, activism team, if we have any volunteers, but we can talk about that later. Excellent. That that sounds uh, really good. Yeah, we'll definitely um, talk about that later. Yeah, thank you. Great. Anything else before we move on um, to the agenda? Uh, yeah, so I suppose we'll just go through the agenda and then every, anyone can ask questions or if anyone got any requests like uh, um, about any project or any work, anyone, any involvement, okay? Sounds good. Sounds great. Okay, so we had a look through the, um, the Venus Expressions media structure. For any of you that weren't here when we went through that, the links will be up there somewhere in the, in the chat box. Um, so feel free to have a look at that. Okay, so onto the onto the new website then, the new fabulous website. Um, if you haven't been on it yet, well, we're about to. We're about to have a look. So um, let's go and click on ah. Thank you, thank you, Joe. <laughs> click on that handy link that Joe's just popped in there. <laughs> See you there in a minute. Um, VenusExpressions.org link there that Alfred's just popped in. We'll go have a look at the new website. Yeah, so if you haven't registered on that website, please do so. Yes, uh, obviously, as it, thanks, Ben. As it, as it, excuse me. As it's a, a new website, we all um, are having to re-register. 
So um, let's have a look now then We're on the, the home page with the fab looking video there. And I'll just uh, get my notes back up for the um, for the walkthrough. One sec. Apparently about 200 people signed up, so that's pretty good. It is, yeah, that's great. Okay, so I'll just read what Alfred's put. You have to sign up at the main TVP website first. That's at thevenusproject.com. And then use just the same login and password for this site. Thanks, Ragnar. Yeah. So if you haven't already registered for venusexpressions.org, you need to go to venusproject.com, register there, and then come to venusexpressions.org, and then you can use the same login and password to log in there. So uh, feel free to do that out if you haven't already. Uh, for future reference, um, just to make easier on the top right, I speak the little blue V. If you just click that, it'll take you straight to the site. Oh, very handy. Fabulous. <laughs> I'm learning all the time. Thank you. A thousand people have signed up so far. That's amazing. Over a thousand people. And that's really uh, fast as well. Fantastic. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> No problem, Drew. Um, nice to see you. Um, you're welcome to introduce yourself quickly now if you like, just before we run through the um, the new expressions website. You mean Daniel? Sorry, I was just wondering if I said the right name. What did I just say? Andrew. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you're in love. Yeah, no problem. No. Yeah, I'm Daniel. And I'm the coordinator of the German activism team and um, also uh, involved in several other other teams and trying to do everything I can at every place I can. And so, yeah, I'm also here and uh, listening and trying to do uh, whatever is needed uh, and contribute. Thank you, Daniel. Nice to see you here. I, I see some of you around in some of the other meetings um, and it's, uh, it, it's nice. It's nice to see everybody uh, all busy. Okay. So the new website then, so are we all looking at the new Expressions Media website? Uh, Venus-Expressions.org Okay, so on the front page, the front page features the latest videos, print media, music, the latest updates and team over overview. And the latest members. Okay. It looks like the latest members haven't put photographs up yet. That was a, as a quick aside. When you do join, um, if you go to edit your profile and, and pop in uh, a profile picture, that makes the bottom of the page look nice and colourful. <laughs> Has anyone got any issues with the website uh, that they can't seem to find some information? So just uh, ask away. Yeah, feel free to uh, <clears throat> mention with any problems. Okay, so the community login area. Um, this is the place for volunteers to collaborate with each other on media projects, uh, to improve their media talents, to learn media skills and brainstorm and start up new media projects for Venus Expressions Media. Sorry, Govitz, did you have a, um, a question or something to say there? Nope, no, I think that's it. Okay. So yes, the, uh, the community login areas, it's a nice place to interact with, with other people and see what's going on and all that kind of thing. So please browse through the site, uh, visiting and reading all the pages for better understanding of, of how to use the site. Um, I think going through the site ourselves is, is much better than me or anybody just sitting and, and, and telling you that you explore your way around. And uh, But yeah, as, as Ben said, any questions or problems, feel free to get in touch. Um, and there will be an introduction 
uh, video, uh, tutorial video up, up soon that we'll be able to look at. So that will obviously help. Um, okay. So that's, that's that point of the agenda then with the new new site. So hopefully um, we'll all be uh, networking like crazy over there and, <laughs> and things. Okay, so on to the next point of the agenda then. This is uh, the new mission process overview. And this says that most of the new media will be submitted directly to the Venus Expressions Media website or by email at expressions at the venus project.com and for, if you would like any more information on that go to the home menu you can see a pdf you can have a look at the, the pdf file about the media approval process uh, i presume alfred is that the home menu on the expressions website it is okay great Okay. Do you um? Can you all? Do you uh, do you need the uh, email address for um? If we, I'll I'll pop the email address for submissions in the box just now for anybody that wants it. You beat me to it. Up. <laughs> You're quick. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Fabulous, yes, thanks Ragnar. It's, uh, it's in the PDF too, so if you have any songs or anything like that that you'd like to submit, uh, uh, there, there are two ways to do that, via the website or via that email address. Okay, next point then, media project proposal process. New media project proposals must have full completed outline a full completed outline um you are a project manager for your new project um responsible for its progress recruitment meetings materials resources etc and a document will soon be published for the public explaining the media project's proposal process for venus expressions media um I don't know if you'd like, to, is there anything that you'd like to elaborate on about that, Alfred, in, in the chat there? Um, that, that I've just uh, read through is, um, is, is quite new to me. Okay, that's fine. So we'll, we'll um, We'll uh, happily await the new document then. Um, in the meantime, just that we know that um, that document will be arriving soon, so that's great. New website, yep, we'll pop the link in there, just one sec. I'm not sure if you were here when we were discussing um, registering on the new Expressions website, um, just in case you, you didn't hear, because I, I think I saw that, yeah, your computer crashed, uh, no props. Um, first of all, we have to register on the the main website, the venusproject.com. Thank you, Ragnar, <laughs> my assistant. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you use the same login and password for the expressions website so there's um and then of course there's the um tvp activism area as well so it's, it's a big big new cool site okay so one sec ah craig you've jumped in there you are just been uh, that was very handy <laughs> just a, at the next point on the agenda says team intro video project and it says Craig next to it so hopefully um, you'll know what, what to say about that. Um, unfortunately we're still waiting on some of the other core teams um, 
to produce more detailed scripts in regard to what they would like for the project introductory videos and um, sean i'm not sure how far along you are with the writing ahora, team ahora, 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 ahora. Sorry, sorry that's okay Volko. um yeah i think an update at the next expressions meeting may be most appropriate for these team introductory vids um i'll speak to sean later on today um but we will be waiting some time yet for the linguistics team and um, they're very busy at, at this time um chris has a basic outline of a script for the marketing team meeting um, but he's also been very busy um, with study and other things in the last few weeks, um, so I'll speak to Chris over the coming weeks and give everyone an update at the next Expressions meeting in regard to those um, projected team introductory videos. Design teams, um, you'll be waiting um, some time yet for us, unfortunately, but I'll keep you posted. Thanks, Sheena. Thanks, Craig. Thanks for that update. Um, I'm sure we'll all look forward to uh, new scripts landing. Obviously, sometimes these things take time, don't they? <laughs> sorting out what you uh, what people need and things. Okay, so on to the next point then. TVP Flyers project. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this project is for print media departments. So this is a department I don't really um, know much about or have much to do with as I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not really um, a, a visual artist. So the Venus project needs new flyers for use for local activism. And examples and current flyers can be found on the main TVP website, so that's the main site. Flyers should be brief, good flow of information, and well designed. So that's, um, is that a new project then, Alfred? Oh, thanks, the link's there. Alfred's just popped the link in the box if you'd like to click on it. I'll go and do that now. Yeah, so that's, that's a good uh, place to actually direct people if they want to spread the idea. And so they can download those flyers and uh, distribute it to people, let them know, so they can actually look at uh, themselves at the websites. Sorry, Ben, I didn't quite catch that. Would you mind saying that again? Uh, sorry, I was just saying that, um, yeah, it's just the, those flyers, uh, that's where you get them from, download them, and that's where, obviously, a bit stating the obvious, just uh, if you want to get some flyers and distribute it to your friends so they can have a look through it and then uh, go to the website for more information. Fabulous. That's uh, it, it, It's a great idea, that is, yes, definitely. Okay, for some reason, it's uh, not letting me log in. <laughs> I don't know why. So um, I'm not looking at that page at the moment, but um, hopefully you all are and you're having a, a great time looking at it. <laughs> okay, good to see. Uh, yep, yeah, some of you are already downloading them. Wow, that's uh, amazing. Uh, yeah, keenness and organisation. That's fab. All right, then, next, next point on the agenda, if that's um, all about the flyers. Um, uh, let's see, project proposals, um, and the notes here say to present any project proposal ideas through voice. Uh, is there anything, would you like to expand on that, Alfred? Does that mean that if people have project ideas, they, they speak to you, speak to you personally? Is that what that means? If anyone has any new ideas for any any projects, uh, feel free to um, mention them now. Yep, any ideas? Go ahead and, and speak away, and I'll be quiet for a bit. Read <laughs> now or forever hold your peace, or at least till the next meeting. <laughs> Maybe um, VTV had an idea about the radio show for the activism team. Yes, yes. Yes, he, he had to go, Alfred. Um, but yes, that's definitely uh, an idea that's uh, a very good one. So do we want to brainstorm about that idea now, Alfred? 
Well, we could always ask him to post his idea on the on the website because um, we have discussions on the the expression websites. Uh, I, which, by the way, I think it's a good thing for everyone to have a look at all the discussion news groups on the the expression website and just join them um, so uh, you get the latest uh, and we can all discuss all about all these products and the news uh, anything happening at the moment yeah that's a great idea ben i think it's um very very useful um that all of us stay up to date with um what's going on and what information is there on, on the websites. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's useful for us all, whatever, in what, you know, regardless of uh, the different ways that we, that we help with the Venus Project. So yeah, good point there, Ben. Okay, so um, uh, Colin, thank you. You've mentioned there that you're making a flow chart um, um, and you've put the link there. So we, we can have a quick look at that link, that'd be nice. Uh, if people want to pick quotes from Jacques essays and books under any of those descriptions. Okay, let's um, let's have a look at the, the flow chart then. And, uh, from Joe as well. Yeah, very useful. The media contacts create mind maps at mindmeister.com on that link. So yeah, uh, a, a useful link there. Yes, it's nice to, it is nice to have the pictures there, isn't it, yeah. I'm not sure, Colin, how, how do we join? Does anyone, um, Joe, maybe, um, maybe you know a little bit more about joining Mind Meister or Mind Map? Craig is the one who uses it, so we'd be the first person to ask. Mind my server is a free, I think it's a free service, or at least has basic services, and there's an upgrade option. Sorry, Craig, uh, sorry, Joe, was, oh, sorry, Craig, go on. Yeah, um, Neil's just come back. If you wanted to talk further about any radio show or anything like that, um, Alfred just, um, said to give him a shout and bring him back so Neil's come back if you want to talk about that in regard to MindMeister uh, no you don't need any payment options or anything like that um, it's a free tool Colin um, so if you google MindMeister their website will come up um, you can create a mind map it's very easy to use self-explanatory um, it's a good tool I would recommend it um, you have two options then. You can keep what you produce private and just email that out to individuals that can view the mind map you're producing. Um, the second alternative is to publish what you produce and then you can distribute that as a link then for public viewing. So two options once you've created the material. Uh, curious, are other people uh, able to edit later on? Like, is it a live open source document? It can be invite collaboration on the document. Um, but what, what I'd like to um, suggest is this. Each of the teams on the new website now has a toolkit section. So any of these online tools or softwares that are productive um, specifically media production tools for the expressions team. If any of you guys have knowledge of good collaborative software that can be used for developing any expressions projects or creating any media, can you submit those tools and softwares to Alfred at the expressions at the venusproject.com email address and Alfred can take a look at those tools. If they're better tools than what we already have, they will then be included in the Expressions Team Toolkit. If they're not included, that's because we already have better tools and we don't want to dilute where unnecessary. So if we can keep the toolkit focused to the very best tools for media production, then all suggestions for new tools should be submitted to Alfred at the email address 
and put a headline in it that it's um, regarding the toolkit. Thanks, Craig. That's fantastic. Thank you, VDV. <laughs> I have uh, have done um, I have I've done a radio show before. Yeah, I, I have considered it. Maybe I will. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of radio shows, have you gotten a chance to look at some of the possible formats that could be used for the future Venus Project radio show, like maybe talk show or blog talk radio? I'd be yeah, there's help a... you guys with that when the time came. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, it's okay. Go for it. I was just gonna say I'd be willing to help you guys with like my experience with it. Um, I really encourage more people to do more shows, particularly um, in other languages. Yeah, great idea. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a lot of experience with TalkShoe. I ended up sticking with Blog Talk. Um, it does have a financial cost attached to it, but it has a lot of other benefits that go with it. Um, TalkShoe has some technical difficulties at times. Uh, there was just one of the other reasons why I stuck to Blog Talk. Um, but uh, I guess either is viable, and for now, TalkShoe is free. What was the platform that Terry was suggesting, Neil, some time ago? Well, um, the problem with what Terry was doing, and I loved Terry's radio show, um, it, but it's a persistent stream uh, that you, you tune into, and it's not on archives. Uh, the podcast is really the best way to go, something recorded that people can listen to on demand. Um, the reason Terry wasn't getting a lot of listeners, um, aside from just the fact that he was playing kind of a lot of random music and people tend to tune into only one kind of music, um, was the fact that, you know, we have an international, you know, uh, interest in the Venus Project. And as a result, you know, we get people from all over the world who are interested in, in it. And it's hard to really pin down when a good time is. That's why you'll see, like, I don't have a regular schedule on V Radio because I realize my guests are from all over the world and I have to cater to them at different time periods. Which is why I suggest a, a podcast on demand. Most people actually listen to these kinds of radio shows on their iPods when they're like on the bus or you know maybe at school or something and um, that's why that's a much more successful model don't get me wrong you get much better sound quality out of what Terry wants to do but unless you're gonna have programming on that channel 24 hours a day it's not gonna work and that is a lot of work yeah I'd, uh, I'd agree I'd agree there and um, from my limited experience yeah, with the, you know, the dealings I've had with various radio shows through you know the music side of what I do, I, I agree. I think I think podcasts are very accessible, um, and that they're contained, and you don't have to worry too much about filling the content because, like you say, it is a lot of time to fill if you're going to have live streaming. I'm just having a look now because I know that um, Reputation Media use a podcast site, and I'm pretty sure that when I joined it, it was free. So maybe if I find it, maybe I don't know VTV. If maybe you'll be able to um, tell us if you know anything about it. Um, I'll just go and have a look now. I'm willing to take a look. Um, my experience is mostly based on Justin TV, um, which allows video as well as audio and Blog Talk Radio. I messed around a little bit with TalkShoe and didn't like it, so I went back to Blog Talk. Yeah, and um, I know that a lot of people use Blog Talk Radio, don't they? It does seem to be coming, well, as far as I can see, the the industry standard, if you like. Would I be right in that, do you think? Yeah, not to mention it's becoming more, I mean, like, it's it's breaking some of the stigma of being an internet radio. Um, like, I mean, if you go to their website, more and more high-end celebrities are ending up on blog talk shows. So it's kind of up and coming. If it's not well known, then when you, like, for example, like when I'm trying to get together, say, a professor of, you know, chemistry is going to come on and talk about geothermal energy or something. He's going to ask me where I'm 
broadcasting from and it's the moment you say internet they tend to be less interested and if you say blog talk they're a little more interested because it's there are some pretty high profile people on it but it also costs a little bit of money in my opinion though having been part of a persistent radio stream that was on 24 hours a day and knowing all of the labor and all of the work that goes into everything it was well worth it thanks for that that's good to know Sorry, VT, what's your name again? Neil Kiernan. Ah, cool, sorry. Um, I was wondering, is your is there a link for your V Radio on the website, or can you just post it? I was just wondering, maybe even ask Andrew to put it on the website if it's not. Thanks. Another one of the benefits of using um, v rate uh, basically you know, radio blog talk is that it provides you with those like actually you can go to my website and you can see there's a widget in the left that has like the last six radio shows that I've done and you can put those pretty much anywhere you can throw them anywhere that uses HTTP I think is the correct word but you can throw that on your MySpaces you can easily throw it on any website you can throw it um, you know virtually anywhere and they give you that so That's great, thank you, yes. And um, as Joe mentioned up there in the chat just before, um, the shows are archived and that's, that's indefinitely, I believe, they're archived forever. Is that right? Yes, and archives no effort. Uh, you don't have to put any work into it at all. Um, they're automatically archived and they can be downloaded from their site, which also saves you a lot of like hosting costs. Like I literally have hundreds and hundreds of hours of programming. I would not want to be trying to store that anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that sounds like it makes it um, nice and easy. Um, I, I think I found the website it, Pod Podomatic. I don't know if you've heard of it, B two B. Um, um, I'll put a link on just now. Uh, just wondering, Neil, is V Radio official with the Venus Project? Um, <laughs> not really. Uh, I I cover a lot of things that are not always Venus Project oriented. Um, my main goal with V Radio is still to get people to look at the Venus Project, which is why if you look at my website, the Venus Project is at the bottom of every page with a big, huge banner. Um, but it's not uh, official official in that that way I can be free to say things that, you know, the Venus Project may not be necessarily held accountable for. Um, but, you know, they're welcome to come on any time. And they've they've definitely been the guests that I've had on more often than anyone else. My personal goal with V Radio, though, is to try to draw attention to the Venus Project. Um, and when I do shows that don't involve the Venus Project, I'm, my goal is hopefully to bring some of the listener base, you know, that would be interested in whatever those things are, like whether it's the Love Police or uh, Ben Stewart from Chimatica, Esoteric Agenda, is that, you know, they'll look at my stuff and then maybe they'll subscribe to my podcast and then they'll end up tuning in to Jock and Roxanne at a later date or maybe in my archives. Cool, man. That's great work. Fabulous. Yeah. I want to add to that, Ben, to give you some clarification. Um, in regard to officiality, um, Neil's got a great show, and Neil does a great <coughs> job of advocating the Venus Project on that show. Um, but one of the things that can be an issue is Neil has a massive diversity of guests on his radio show. Um, Neil's trying to create global awareness um, in a number of different circles. One example, Neil, I'd like to use is Charlie Veach, Ben. Um, you, you're probably familiar with Charlie Veach and the Love, Love Police Band being based in London. Um, I consider Charlie a personal friend, but Charlie's a political activist, Charlie's an anarchist. Um, Charlie often will attend Neil's radio show with outspoken views and opinions. Um, Neil also invites Stefan Molyneux frequently on the radio show, who's an advocate of Austrian economics. Um, he's very outspoken in regard to trying to be pro um, the free market economy. Um, 
which obviously we do not advocate at the Venus Project. So I'd like to say that I very much enjoy Neil's radio show. And I think as an individual, he does fantastic work in creating awareness, um, not only of good causes, but specifically of the Venus Project. Um, Neil and I recently collaborated um, so that a member of the Icelandic constitution, John's daughter, could attend the radio. Um, Neil discussed with Roxanne and I this show prior to the radio show. Um, we discussed introducing the Venus Project concepts to Brigitte during and following that show. Um, so we were able to collaborate. Um, but Neil has a very diverse show with a very diverse selection of guests attending that show and a very diverse subject and topic matter for that specific radio show, V Radio, which Neil has. I cannot stress enough um, that I very much admire Neil and appreciate Neil for what he does on behalf of the Venus Project in creating awareness of our project. Neil's just said that that's his number one priority. And, you know, I, I back that up. Um, I've known Neil for some time. I've listened to many of those radio shows, Ben. But what we're discussing is a specific Venus Project radio. Now, that will serve a totally different purpose. This needs to be very Venus Project specific. It needs to lose that diversity of guests and subject matter. Um, so we will look at using the Venus Project radio show that we're discussing at this time um, for the purposes of educating the TVP community, um, but also for giving updates and advice in regard to ongoing TVP projects. Um, I'd suggest, Sheena and Ben, that in the short term, we may only have a listener base from within the TVP community, perhaps those who are actively using our website. Um, that would be the best um, place for announcing any radio podcasts or any live radio shows that we did through this radio station. But on that note, Sheena, I think that for the, for the, for the short term, for the time being, we need to rule out any radio platforms that require funding. Um, we can't expect to ask Andrew and Roxanne to put a widget up on the website to raise monthly funds for running this radio show or something of that nature. So unless we've got a sponsor here present, um, we need to look at the free tools we have available, at least short term, and then see how any radio project develops. Um, but it should be for the community in the short term. And we already have projects in place that require financial contribution and donations. So we don't want to take away from those by adding a PayPal or a widget for the radio show as well. So please, let's work in the short term with free software tools and just targeting the community that's using the website um, for projects, for education, for getting things done, as opposed to creating global awareness where we have the Media Contacts project for that. I agree, great. Sorry, Ben, go on. Uh, yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Uh, talking about free tool, I was just, I found out uh, lately, um, I'll just post it now on, on down below. And that's a basically a website where you can, um, um, it's like a hard drive where you can store all your data and anyone around the world can actually use it. Uh, it's it's going to be very useful for some projects like uh, sharing, because uh, for example, um, uh, the, vid the video projects, when you're working on the video and you, you want someone else to uh, pick up the latest version or even share just some big, some big files, uh, this one is like uh, up to two gigs free, so and so anyone can just go sign up and we can easily share data. That's be, um, that's until we actually find uh, um, a way to do it on the website or well at the moment we we haven't got anything like this. So um, you guys might find it useful. In addition to Ben's suggestion, I'd also like to direct everybody's attention to minus.com. This is what we have been using for the online study groups, minus.com, you can store anything you want there, files, mp3s, mp4s, 
pause, whatever, and there's no registration required. All you have to do is give people the URL link and they can share and collaborate. We find it much more user friendly than Dropbox. Oh, thanks for that. I was right. Thanks everybody. That's that's um that's great. So um so are there any more? So that was that was the main thing that we wanted to ask you, Neil, about the um about the radio. I think unless anyone had anything else specific to uh, to ask from Neil's wealth of um, experience and radio knowledge. There was another suggestion. Um, I made this a little bit with Jacques and Roxanne. Some of you might remember the uh, video interview I did with Jacques and Roxanne that you can see on YouTube. And I used Justin TV technology for that. Um, uh, last I checked, Justin TV was still free. Um, and it allows you to broadcast directly via a webcam. Uh, for the longest time, I was thinking, you know, especially on the Venus Project site, like where they live anyway, if they were to set up a webcam and a computer there, um, Jacques could do his lectures and actually pick up his models and demonstrate things and show them to people visually. Uh, Justin TV also has the added benefit that it is a social network. People will randomly wander into the channel and ask about it, um, which is something that a lot of these other uh, channels don't have. Um, Ustream is big. Um, I've never I've never seen any kind of social element to it. It could be uh, maybe I just didn't experience it. But um, uh, Justin TV, you know, there were people who literally just wander through the channels of Justin TV, just like flipping through the channels of a television to to learn about well what's going on in this channel, what's going on in that channel. Um, it also archives the video things that you do, um, and then you can turn them into YouTube's later. Uh, or, you know, whatever kind of video files you like, but that way we could have a visual element for Jock's presentations that he's doing, and um, it's more likely that random traffic will just wander into the channel. That sounds fantastic to me. That does. Um, Craig, Alfred, Ben, um, what, what do you reckon? I'm thinking if we, uh, if we get Joe to uh, pop down on the minutes um, to definitely check out Justin TV and also the talk shoe, the free one for the um, for the uh, radio broadcasting. If we can make sure that those two links certainly are in a minute, that would be marvellous. Thank you. Yeah, we got anyone that knows got knowledge of Justin TV who could set that up technically. I, I've never. It's, it's, oh, go on. Sorry. It's really. It's really not that hard. Um, if it comes down to it, but I'll be happy to show you guys how to use. It. That sounds fabulous. I, I've never been to it or, or until now, or um, aha, a handy YouTube link. But I'll, I'll certainly, I'll certainly be happy to have a have a look at that, Craig. Well, I don't want to step on toes, Sheena, because I know that the um, writing team does have the lecture project within that team. Um, now I've spoken to Sean um, some weeks ago now, um, some time ago, regarding the planned structure for future lectures and educational material. And I know that Jock and Roxanne are going to be a part of that project as well. Um, so on the question of whether Justin TV becomes a great tool for doing that, um, I don't, I, I've used it a few times myself, um, but I don't want to say whether that's the best tool, because I don't know what platforms and tools the writing team have currently looked at for lectures. Oh, I don't, oh, I definitely I don't, don't want to step on anybody's toes either. Um, I'll work as a consultant to whoever is supposed to be in charge of this and then give them the information that I have from working on it in the past. Um, the other benefit, though, that I noticed to Justin TV, I don't know if you can do this on Ustream, but you can throw Justin TV widgets anywhere, too. Just like, like if, in fact, if you look at the Zeitgeist TV tab on my website, you'll see my own Justin TV channel set up there with the chat room that's attached. Um, and anytime I go live, people can see that on my own website. Like they don't even have to go to the Justin TV website. Cool. So um, yeah, good point. Yeah, obviously none of us want to step on anyone's toes. It's uh, it's just another idea we can throw in, isn't it? Really, and um, give to the writing team. And obviously, 
uh, the decision decision will be made. <laughs> Probably not by me. <laughs> Okay, cool. so uh, anything else anybody wanted to discuss about uh, radio things? Okay, so we'll move on to the next point in the agenda then. I'll just get my notes. <laughs> okay, so um, TVP Comics. Um, it, uh, a gravel, a gravel. Um, I hope I have pronounced that correctly. I probably haven't. <laughs> um, I guess this this person, man or woman, was to speak more about that if they're in the room. I haven't seen anyone in here of that name. Nope, he's not here. Says Alfred. Um, was that to get an update from Saket, Alfred? Well, just wait until he gets back and talk about it, or maybe. Um... Maybe you could present his project uh, to to one of the um, news groups on the Venus Expression Media website, right? and so you can contact him or work together on it. Yeah, great idea, and and thanks, there, Neil, for your offer of help with the with the comic book aspect, um, and thanks for popping in to talk to us about all of that. So yeah, we'll see you, we'll see you again then. Thanks, bye, Neil. Um, I suppose we've gone through all the meeting. Actually, I had a, a one at the moment. I've got a few questions. Have anyone's heard about it? Uh, I think Sean and Craig, you you guys heard about um, Michael about the the, the intro video. Uh, basically, I've been trying to contact Michael um, and trying to, I mean, basically look at his work and share ideas. But he's been very quiet lately. Have you guys actually been in contact with him? No, I've not heard from Michael for a few days, Ben. Um, uh, probably close to a week now I've not heard from Michael. Um, that is a long time for Michael. He's normally active uh, more frequently than that. Uh, but it wouldn't be the first time that Michael's been pulled away for a week or two. I know uh, sometimes he does have to put in overtime at work, and that can take up a lot of his time. And he's also active in the local university community there as well, where he tries to create awareness. Um, when did you last try contacting Michael, Ben? Uh, it was basically last weekend, and um, he was already he already started to work on it. Uh, I had a look uh, through a program. I forgot what the name is. Uh, basically, to, I had a look at his uh, screen on from my computer, and he was working on it. And he had uh, Andrew's uh, voiceover, so he was doing good progress. And actually, he uh, uh, turned off his program and deleted like a couple of hours of his work by mistake but anyway um, basically I was trying to find a way to actually share the work so for these sort of cases like when he's away and we don't know what's going on someone can pick up his work so that's why I wanted to speak to him about Dropbox so we can actually uh, pick up uh, the latest version carry on working on it make some modification get some ideas and all this Okay, we'll speak to Alfred then. Uh, ben Alfred's just put in the chat that he spoke to him a couple of days ago about that project. Um, so maybe Alfred knows more than the rest of us um, where Michael is. Um, Alfred, maybe you can send him a message and get him in touch with Ben. Okay, cool, thanks. So also for these video intros, so uh, we... Uh, is it final, that the script that we have and that he's, he's using? And I'll find that later. Do you mean the script for the um, the new website video? Is that is that what you were referring to, Ben? Yeah, the, basically, at the moment we have this this project on for doing video intros for each team. Well, one for the the uh, websites in general, introducing uh, the websites. Uh, Showing where people uh, showing people where to go to get information, join the teams. Uh, so one for each team. Uh, we we've started with the first one, which is the general one, and then we'll have one for each team. But, uh, show well, we we haven't had uh, we haven't got the script for the others. So I just wanted to know if uh, if we had any any other um, things going on about that. And um, also just a quick mention that I spoke to Sean yesterday and. Um, about the animation project, so um, 
Yeah, that that uh, is not a priority. So we'll we'll do that. First. We'll finish his intro animation um, videos first, and then um, because he's on his own pretty much. So yeah, if anyone's in wants to help out Sean, because I think he's in the writing team, and he said to me that at the moment he's a bit on his own. So if anyone wants to help out, uh, just to contact him, or just to write uh, um, writing at. Uh, in this project, to, well, it's written somewhere on the website anyway. And is that for help specifically with writing the um, scripts for the new team uh, introduction videos then? Or is um, that general help? Well, anyone interested in script writing, we'll, we will have a few scripts that uh, need uh, worked on. Um, but I think but I'm not exactly sure what else he works on. Um, uh, if anyone wants to help him, I'm sure he'd be happy to to get some help. Okay, cool. I might see if I can help um, there. Um, Sebastian raised um, a question there in the chat just to run it by um, Alfred and, and and everyone. The videos that people are making. Um, why I advocate TVP. Um, can can people do that in their own language and add English subtitles? Is that okay? I guess that Wait. question's to Alfred. I'd imagine that would be okay. Is, is that all right, Alfred? Yes, great. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay then, moving on from the videos, unless anybody else wanted to mention anything about the videos? Okay, so um, I'll mention now about the, the, uh, the vacant position. Uh, so I'll read through the description and if any of you feel that it's a position that you have the uh, qualifications and experience for, I know I don't, I'm afraid, feel free to apply. So the news media project manager position, so a project manager for news media. Um, we are in need of one and the requirements are as follows. Um, you must be easily reachable on a daily or weekly basis through either email, Skype or on Facebook. You must be e easy to contact and be able to respond back in a timely manner. So yeah, communication is important, replying quickly. You must have news broadcasting experience or if you're studying journalism uh, and communications um, that's fine, you must be a junior or a senior. Um, here, uh, Alfred, is that, does that equate to university level, junior or, or senior? Open position for, uh, basically for doing news broadcasting, that's the part I didn't catch, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay, yeah, there's an open position for, uh, the title is uh, news media, news media project manager. So it's a, it's a the news media department needs a, a project manager basically um, to to get this project off the ground and uh, give it some uh, give it some uh, energy. So yeah, uh, con being contactable is important. Um, news broadcasting experience is important, or studying journalism and communications. At, at college level. Um, you must be able to work well with others, have a professional and friendly good communication skills, written and vocal, and have a well-mannered attitude. Um, you must be able to organise projects and shows and meetings. You must be able to assist on video broadcasts and to be able to host at least one weekly or bi-weekly online news show for the Venus Project. 
Um, a resume is required for this project manager position um, with the understanding that this is still done under volunteer basis. Um, there's not a wage or a salary for this role. Any need of funding for projects or shows must be presented to the funding team um, who can be contacted by emailing meadows at thevenusproject.com. So if anybody would like to submit their resume, feel free to email alfred at thevenusproject.com. I'll put in the chat box now. Um, I don't think it I don't think it, it specifies that you have to have college experience. Um, there is a link where um, oh thanks Alfred. <laughs> Alfred could you could you just clarify? Yeah, it says or so either uh, news broadcasting experience, it says must have news broadcasting experience or studying journalism and communication. So you can either be studying it or have a qualification in it or have experience in it. So as far as I understand what's written here, you don't have to have both, yeah, or, or both, yes, Ragnar, thank you. <laughs> Would I be right with that, Alfred, that it, it doesn't have to be both? Yes, great. So if you have either broadcasting, news broadcasting experience, or you are studying journalism and communications, or you have studied, feel free to apply for that position. If you host in V-Radio, would you be able to apply? Well, I could apply. I don't really have the kind of um, uh, credentials that you're talking about, though. I mean, I've broadcasted news, but it was always independent. Sounds fine to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's... I mean, that's, that's just me. I don't know if that's how it works, but I mean, there's no one at the moment. Um, it's vacant. You can, you can always help out. You're not going to take over the whole thing, but always help out with that department if you want. Well, yeah, I'll help any department that needs help. I mean, I guess I can give it a try for now, but if you guys find somebody who's more qualified, then you know, don't hesitate to let me know because I have no problem stepping aside if somebody's more educated about something than I am. Well, you can learn uh, well, from each other anyway, work together. I'm sure we'd, uh, we'd welcome the application, definitely. Um, the, uh, Alfred's popped the email address there in the chat box up there. Um, I mean, in the description, it doesn't actually specify what news broadcasting experience you have to have had. Um, and any is some. And, and I guess independent experience is extremely relevant because you're used to making decisions and working off your own ideas and generating your own projects etc so i would have thought that you'd be completely well qualified to, to apply for that one neil all right i can do that i guess i'd have to put together a resume well there's no pressure <laughs> so, um i've gone through all the agenda that Alfred sent over to me and I've read through all the meeting notes and um, we've reached the point now where it's it's a open open discussion uh, questions ideas suggestions concerns about Venus expressions media so open forum now if anybody would like to raise anything Ask away, people. That if anyone's got a question about anything, I mean, uh, some of you are new, uh, so if you want to know anything, just uh, ask away. We don't buy. Okay, so um, if anyone doesn't have any questions or comments or anything like that um, would anybody like the the vacancy uh, criteria link I'll, I'll go and get the link for that now Chase, Sorry, do you want to elaborate on your I mean why would you think we would need to contact a news organization 
Do you mean in terms of marketing um, the Venus Project Chase and, and getting um, interviews for Jacques and Roxanne? That and just having them report on it just for publicity. Yes, absolutely. I, um, I'm with the marketing team and the media contacts team as well. And we have ongoing projects that, um, yeah, we're um, contacting um, all kinds of different TV and radio networks. We've got some interviews already lined up. In fact, Roxanne's doing one tomorrow um, on, on Blog Talk Radio. Um, and we are, there are whole if you're interested to get in, in involved with that side of things, Chase, um, feel free to um, feel free to come and you know join us in the, in the marketing team. I'm, I'm sure we'd uh, welcome welcome assistance there. Um, so yes, there there is a lot of a lot of um, time and effort. And Craig, you've obviously spent a lot of time going into that um, in, down that avenue with your um, time. Um, working hard with media contacts. And also, there's the new test system on the homepage that uh, advises the uh, all the users who have joined TVP activism to uh, yeah to write emails in their behalf to uh, CNN and Sky News and uh, ask for interview uh, for interviewing and so on. Thank you, Daniel. Yes, that I noticed somebody just pop that in the chat box there. That was uh, something I was going to mention there as well. Yes, if you go to the um, TVP activism site, there is a daily task there now, um, which gives you, it gives you the link to the organization that we're all contacting that day. And there's a little, um, have you done today's task, yes or no, that you can click on. And there are also, uh, in, in the event descriptions, uh, the events for contacting, I think today was, was it Sky? I can't remember, I lose track. <laughs> so yeah, we've done Sky and CNN and yeah, we've done some big organisations over the last couple of days. And uh, there are also, there's also a guide letter, which um, everyone is welcome to use as a template, but we do recommend that that um, we don't copy that letter word for word. It, it It's much more effective if um it's it's adapted even even if it's adapted a little um it's better than it being exactly the same but yeah um it the information the, the main information is there that we would um that would be useful to um put in an email to any news organization that we're contacting to request um or to suggest that they interview jack Jack and Roxanne. Yeah, uh, one thing I'd like to add on this, um, maybe uh, at least in my uh, opinion, it's uh, really useful if people use their own private email accounts and not the ones um, they got from TVP Activism or uh, Project.com. Um, so that, yeah, it's kind of it kind of looks better <laughs> if people write from their private email address and uh, n yeah, n not really show um, their. Um, yeah, their background affiliation with the Venus project, so to say. I think, at least from my perspective, it would be more uh, powerful. Um, and also, the emails that people write, maybe it's more useful if uh, everybody creates uh, his or her own uh, email template. And then, uh, at least I have done it. I just put the name um, on, on top, and the text is always the same, but um, all the words are mine, so to say. Um, <clears throat> just, uh, I guess, yeah, they have also kind of filtering and they see if, if uh, many emails have the same text and uh, this will be marked as spam right away. So um, be careful with uh, copying words. It's better, it's better to write your own email and then create your own template and so on. Thank you, Daniel. Yes, that's um, a very good idea. Yeah, we can all save ourselves time by um, by having our own template that we use to contact different organizations. And yeah, it, it's definitely more effective if it's if it's yeah, um, if it's going to be different from the one that uh, someone else is going to be sending, yeah, then much more likely to pay attention. So that's something that we can we can all do. It's something we can all be very proactive with, every day, if we like. And it only takes well, as Daniel mentions, you know, if you've got your own template 
email, which you can um, adapt slightly for if it's a radio or a television or whatever organisation. It really doesn't take very long and, and it is very effective, you know, once these organisations, you know, if they're getting a few different requests from different people on one day, it's going to start raising interest and the, these things can be quite powerful. So that's, um, yeah, a good thing there. So I'll pop the link here now for um, the job description and um, application requirements for the news media project uh, manager vacancy. Uh, one just question for me, uh, Sheena. Um, I didn't really get it right because of uh, audio problems here with my headset. Uh, did you mention that uh, Roxanne is having a Block Talk Radio interview tomorrow? I believe it's tomorrow. If if uh, I'll check the date, I'll check the date. Um, I'm I'm sure that that will be um, being advertised on the main uh, Venus Project Global page on Facebook. Um, is, is it the 19th tomorrow? I lose track of the date. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, that must be the 19th of tomorrow. Yeah, great. So uh, thanks for that. You're welcome. I'll um, I'll try and get the link, and um, yeah, I'll post it. I'll post it on the Venus Project page. Okay, thanks, Joe. Thanks ever so much for doing the minutes. Um, that's fine. Uh, that you that you need to go. Um, we, we're running to the end of the meeting anyway now, unless anybody else had anything that they thought of that they wanted to discuss, but uh, uh, um, other than that, I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, I think we're already. Yeah, well, thank you everybody for, for coming today to today's meeting. It's been a fabulous turnout and I think it's been productive. And it's been a learning experience for me. Thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> First time I've uh, done this in a meeting. So yeah, the the meet, uh, the, the interview that is tomorrow, uh, obviously as Block Talk Radio is archived, it will be available um, forever. The nice thing about the Block Talk Radio interviews with Andrea Garrison, um, it, th there's a chat room there and it's interactive. So if you do want to drop in, um then in chat room and feel free it's nice and interactive so yeah i'll 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 get the link for that and um pop it here or in the uh, and in the on the facebook global page so uh so that's it then thanks very much thank you for coming everybody yeah good turn up guys thanks for coming and uh, so the, we have this sort of meeting every two weeks uh normally same time but do ch i mean we we do uh, uh, Send an update or what time just to, uh, if just before the meeting anyway so see you guys